Hey guys, you could have TV guys. You go and check out my mother told my Quran American convert story. Guys, it's kind of hard when you want to be religious in countries that don't actually believe in God. I feel America is a country that actually wants to believe in God. But now it depends a lot. Oh. Guys, let's get straight into this. My Muslim name is Karima, and I'm from the United States. I'm 23 years old. My family was never religious growing up. My mother was always condescending towards organized religion, whilst my father was a full atheist. We never went to church or any place of worship growing up. But my mother always told me she would respect our decision to decide for ourselves. Well, cut to me suddenly believing in God out of pretty much nowhere in my teens. I was perhaps 15 or 16 years old. I had felt strongly agnostic until one day I truly believed in my Creator almost overnight. All praise be to Allah. That has kept with me ever since. I was in high school at the time in my world history class. We had a group assignment where we were designated to research a particular festival of certain religions. My group was tasked with Eid ul Adha. Since I'm someone who tends to pick up the slack in any group project, I ended up being the primary information gatherer for our assignment. Of course, I learned a lot from that assignment and fell in absolute love. I had only heard horrible things about Islam and never met Muslims before, so it was surprising to me. I thought to myself, I want to convert now. But I gave myself time to think it over and research other religions. But nothing came close. Everything seemed so man-made in comparison. I did research, and on 14th February 2014, I walked home from school, pulled out my handwritten Shahada transliteration, and set it in front of my neighborhood Mormon church. I felt happy and nervous while taking Shahada because I knew I would be tested by Allah as a result. I began to learn prayers and fell in love with hijab quickly. I had a Quran and information at my fingertips. The problem was my parents. My mom said she would be supportive, but wasn't, especially in the beginning. She tore my Quran and my father called me terrible things. I couldn't practice in front of them for a long time but I never gave up my faith in Islam. Now my mother does not agree still, but her heart gets softened a little more as time passes. My father is still very against it, but honestly, if Allah wills, he could be an even stronger Muslim than I someday. Islam has made who I am into a person who feels whole. I feel like my purpose is fulfilled through Islam and my heart is always filled with happiness towards Allah and His Messenger's Islam fits with the nature of man. To me, the Quran, being unchanged and memorized by so many, is nothing but a miracle of God. Salah itself is such a uniting moment for so many Muslims. For me, being a Muslim is my nature. It's in my innermost soul and touches the smallest atoms of my body. I feel more at peace and less stressed about things I can't control. I feel as though I'm putting my life into God's hands before anything else. And to me, that is so freeing to answer to my creator and not let a man dictate my existence. I feel like I'm free to be me now. I thank Allah every day for it's a gift in my life. For those who think of reverting, few things bring me true peace. 
I only broke the cycle of pressure to society and man-made religion when I truly yielded to God and God alone. You lose nothing by connecting to the one who created you, beautiful as he willed you to be. Hmm. It is a beautiful story, but I felt my heart could have been supportive. But this is really, really hard, especially if you come from a family, if you come from a Christian family or the family's ages. It's really hard for you to come out, guys, because it's like it's gonna be the black sheep of the family. I can tell you that you're gonna be black sheep. You're gonna be hated. You're going to be. You're gonna look at you like maybe the say maybe Satan is using you or something. So it's kind of hard in a way. But I feel if someone comes to the truth and you know this is the truth, guys. Well, if you think about it, we are all born in our personal ways. The only reason why some people are still confined to their parents or still take advice from them maybe because of the respect and sometimes because of the financial help they're getting from them but i feel if everyone is financially capable of making their own decision so people will do what they want to do with their life but now so parents are actually the parents are actually in control of some of their children's life yes we, we should try our best get that financial freedom and do what we want in this life, guys, because we owe this life to ourselves and to God, no one else. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.